guys, Rich here from the rcnetwork.com and welcome to another episode of the Beginner Series. Now this month we're going to be talking about the center slipper clutch. Yes, that thing that no one really wants to ever mess with, but when your car's not running correctly, a simple twist of the nut and you're able to tune your car and make it do exactly what you expect. Locating your slipper clutch is pretty easy. Moving from the front of the car towards the rear, right when you get to right around the motor section, you'll find not only your pinion gear, but also your spur gear. Typically your slipper clutch is surrounding your spur gear and that is where you need to go. Pulling it up close, you can see not only the spur gear, the, but the slipper pads right there on either side, and then also the adjustment nut and the tensioning spring. As far as what to tell if your slipper clutch needs adjustment, if it's too loose, it'll feel kind of sluggish or kind of like a turbo lag feel. It'll take off, but it won't really have an aggressive feel to it. Now, if your slipper clutch is too tight, you will probably end up doing slight wheelies and other issues that could go down the line and end up damaging your drive line and or burning out your motor in the long run. So I went ahead and disassembled the rear end of my Team Associated Pro Rally here and to basically expose the slipper clutch. Now this is kind of mounted towards the rear of the vehicle, acting as a center go-between between the front and rear differential. Now the motor's mounted right next to it and transferring power goes straight through the slipper clutch system and out to the front and rear differentials. Now the way the slipper clutch is designed, there's basically two slipper plates on either side of this spur gear. Now inside the plate and the spur gear, there's also going to be a pad that's actually attached to the spur gear allowing it to give some resistance, but then slip if there happens to be any disturbance in the motor operation. Adjusting the seven millimeter nut at the end of the slipper clutch will allow it to either loosen or tighten down that spring, putting more pressure on those plates. The more pressure you have, the tighter it'll be and the less it will slip. Simply turning it to the right will tighten it down, turning it to the left will loosen it up. I definitely recommend checking your owner's manual, there's typically going to be a section on the slipper clutch, how to adjust it, and also the recommended amount of tension that's required for your particular RTR vehicle. So with that, go out there, grab your RTR, head out, and check out that slipper clutch. Typically, it's either a 5.5 or a 7.0 open end wrench to adjust it. Give the car a spin and see if it needs any adjusting. Adjust it maybe a quarter turn at a time and see if it improves the performance of your RTR. Well guys, that is it for now. If you have any comments or questions about this video, feel free to post it on down below. And as always, thumbs up and subscribe. That's it for now, guys. Guys, over and out.